Greetings! This video will show you how to calculate for ANOVA. First of all, ANOVA is a statistical method used to compare the means of two or more groups. ANOVA has factors and levels, and in this image, your factor is dosage, and your levels are 0 mg, 50 mg, and 100 mg. Types of ANOVA One-way ANOVA has one factor with at least two levels. Levels are independent. Repeated measures ANOVA One factor at least two levels. Levels are dependent. Factored ANOVA has two or more factors, each of which with at least two levels. Levels can either be dependent, independent, or both. Assumptions in ANOVA Normality of sampling distribution of means Distribution of sample means is normally distributed. Independence of errors Errors between cases are independent of one another. Absence of outliers Outlying scores have been removed from the dataset. Homogeneity of variance. Population variances in different levels of each independent variables are equal. Hypothesis in ANOVA. ANOVA with one factor. A has three levels. Your null hypothesis will be all A levels are equal and your alternative hypothesis is that not all means are equal. ANOVA with two factors A and B each with three levels. Your hypothesis for A is that all A levels are equal. Your alternative hypothesis is that not all means are equal. In your null hypothesis for B is that all B levels are equal. And your alternative hypothesis is that not all means are equal. Your null hypothesis for both A and B is that they are interaction absent. And your alternative hypothesis is that A and B are interaction present. Main effects in ANOVA your null, hypothesis, uh, your null hypothesis is that all A levels are equal and your alternative hypothesis is that not all means are equal. Example Pretend we're comparing the test scores of people who have received a medication 100 mg dosage group and the people who have not received a medication 0 mg dosage group. The 0 mg condition has a mean of 60, while the 100 mg condition has a mean of 80. This could be represented in a graph like this. Interaction effects in ANOVA Null hypothesis is that all A levels are equal. Alternative is that not all means are equal. Null hypothesis is that all B levels are equal. Alternative hypothesis is that not all means are equal. Your factors are your dosage. And the dosage are 0 mg, 100 mg. And you also have a factor for gender men and women. Zillomerograms has 60 mean of men and 80 mean of women. 100 milligrams has 80 mean of men, 50 mean of women.
the red line represents the 100 milligram and the blue line represents the 0 milligram. Post hoc analysis in ANOVA. Null hypothesis is that all A levels are equal. Alternative is that not all means are equal. If we reject the null hypothesis, all we know is that there is a difference somewhere among the group. Additional tests called post hoc tests can be done to determine where the differences lie. The F distribution in ANOVA. When doing an ANOVA, we calculate an F statistic. It is similar to other statistics such as Z and T. F equals treatment differences plus random differences divided by random differences. If there are no treatment differ differences, that is if there is no actual effect. We expect F to be 1. If there are treatment differences, we expect F to be greater than 1. The F statistic has its own one-tail distribution, much like how the Z and F statistics have their own separate distribution. Steps in solving ANOVA First is you state your hypothesis. You set the level of significance. Complete the ANOVA table. Find the tabular value and decide. Here is an example. Determine who among the three salesmen will likely be promoted based on their monthly salary in pesos. Alpha is 5%. First, you add all of the A, which is the summation of A, which is equivalent to 1,300. And then you add all the summation of B, which is 1,291. And then you add all the summation of C, which is 100, 1,285. And then you add all the squared numbers from A. And summation of A squared is equals to 195,122. And you do the same for B and C. So summation of B squared is equals to 189,243. And summation of C square is 185,613. Your hypothesis is that there is no significant difference among A, B, and C. First, you must look for SSB. The formula for SSB is summation of uh, xai square over nai minus summation of xi square over n. Substitute it and you will get 1300 1, square plus 1291 square plus 1285 square over 9 minus 1300 plus 1291 plus 1800 1285 square over 27. Your SSB will be 12.67. Now you look for TSS. The formula for TSS is summation of x1 minus summation of x1 over n. You substitute it and you will get 195,122 plus 189,243 plus 185,613 minus 1,300 plus 1,291 plus 1,285 square over 27. Your TSS will be 13,556.67. Now you will look for SSW. To look for SSW, you just only need to subtract TSS minus SSB. So that's 13,556.67 minus 12.67. This is your SSW, 13,544. 
Now you look for the differences. The DFB is the DFB's formula is that k minus 1. The DFW's formula is n minus k and the DFT's formula is n minus 1. Just substitute it all. 3 minus 1 equals 2, which is your DFB. 27 minus 3 equals 24, which is your DFW. 27 minus 1 equals 26, which is your DFT. Take note that A means given factor, I means individual observation, N means sample size, K means number of columns, X means observed values. And now to get the mean squares. To find your SSB, you must, the formula is SSB divided by DFB. So that's 12.67 divided by 2 equals 6.34. 6.34 is your MSB. Now you must look for MSW. To find for MSW, you must uh, divide SSW with DFW. Now substitute and you will get 13,544 divided by 24 equals 564.33. Now you must look for F. The formula for F is MSB divided by MSW. Substitute 6.34 divided by 564.33 equals 0 0.01. Now write it as F224 is equals to 0 0.01. 2 is your DFB and 24 is your DFW. Note that F equals 0 0.01 is also your CV. You must use the DFB and the DFW to look for your tabular value. In this case, your TV is 3.40. Now that you have your CV or F and your TV, you can decide. The decision is that the hypothesis is accepted because the, the CV is lower than the TV. There is no significant difference among A, B, or C.